Hey, this is Val from Dreamlight. When it comes to blending CG or 3D graphics with 2D, uh, whatever that's photo or still image from a video, there are actually 25 aspects of getting that blend together and getting it look right. Beyond the obvious ones like you know camera matching, lighting and shadows, uh, there is one often overlooked aspect I want to talk about today. And that is if you take a photo and you add a CG component to it, so you add a character or vehicle into your, you want to incorporate that into your photo, for instance a character standing here, you notice that there's a difference in sharpness and that is the photo is often much softer, it's much softer, while the 3D graphics is much sharper and clearer. So one of the most overlooked aspects, one of the 25, is softness. It's very important that you get that right. I'm going to show you how to do that next. All right, so here inside, you're inside DAS Studio, and actually it doesn't matter what software you're in because this is a generic technique. You can apply it to virtually any software out there. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to not pay attention to the other 24 components here and just focus on the softness. So there's no lighting, no shadows, no nothing here matching whatsoever, okay? So first of all, you want to, you know, render this out. Like when you have added the character and you have the background in, in the photo in the background, you just want to render this as is. All right, so I'm just gonna click on render here. Let it finish this. Quick render here, just the way it is, no lighting, no shadows, nothing else. And you notice that the CG graphics is a lot sharper right now, okay? And you also notice this is actually a still from a video. So it is a lot fuzzier or, or it has a higher blur level than the uh, CG graphics here. So when I save that out, I'm going to save last render and I'm going to call it girl. Uh, I'm just going to enter girl uh, render. Next, what you want to do is isolate the lady from the background. So we're going to create a mask. For that purpose, I'm going to just remove the backdrop. So go to the backdrop tab, select none, and click on accept. I'm going to choose white backdrop. And we're going to add a single light to the scene and then blacken it. So that means drag it down all the way to zero intensity. That creates a mask. You're going to render that out. Uh, when you do that, very important, keep the same quality settings so it you know, looks the same. And I'm going to save that out. And I'm going to call it Girl Mask. Next, in Photoshop, you want to load your images in. All right. And I'm going to take the, the, this one layer here and add it to this one. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to first duplicate the layer here. Then on the copy layer, you're going to add, if you just click here, you're going to create the mask down here. Okay, click here, then click Alt and Shift to actually enter that uh, mask layer. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to actually invert it. So go to Image Adjust Invert. So it's white. Then I'm going to click um, hit uh, Control A and C to copy and paste. Use Command on the Mac and just paste it in here on the layer. So this now becomes a secondary layer that's uh, only uh, affecting the lady here. So if you zoom in on the camera or on the photo here, you notice that there is a difference in sharpness and you want to match that. So what you add is a small portion of Gaussian blur, blur and Gaussian, and you can add as much as you like. And what it does, it blends the lady only. Can you see that? So you can add just a small portion, often 0 0.2 or 3. You can see that it immediately washes out the, the CG graphics here. And maybe a 0 0.2 is a good blend, then just click on OK. And that's it. That's how easy to adjust the softness of your render and match it with the photo. Awesome, that's it. If you enjoyed that and want to find out all the other 24 aspects of how to blend uh, CG graphics with photographs or stills from video and make it look really, really good, then click the link besides the video. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.